Hello and welcome. I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a screen record on your Mac. It's really easy to do. It's free using the free software. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are over on my computer on my Mac. Now the program that we're going to be using, the software we're going to be using is called QuickTime. And chances are you already have this on your computer. But if you don't, you can come up here to support.apple.com, en underscore us, downloads, QuickTime, or just go to support.apple.com and in, in the search, search for QuickTime, and you can download it for the Mac right here. And then once you have it, I'm gonna minimize this. Once you have it, you have a QuickTime player right here, we will open it up. And here, here is the, the menu up here. And now what we want to do to do a screen recording, go to File, and then you have these options, Movie Recording. This will record um, through, your, through your webcam on your computer. You can just do an audio recording or right here, Screen Recording. So we'll click that. And then this little, um, this thing will show up right here, this little screen. And if you click on this, it'll say what microphone you're using. I happen to have my H4N plugged in. That's the mic I'm using. If you don't have any other mics plugged in, it'll probably just show internal microphone on yours. So whatever mic you have plugged in, um, that's, gonna, that's what it's gonna use. You can also do this option if you wanna show the mouse clicks in your recording, you can click, down, click that on or off. It just depends on the style of the recording that you wanna do. And then what you'll do is see, you can see the audio bars there, which is great. You're gonna hit record. And then it's gonna ask you what screen you want to click on to record. I have two screens, um, a two screen setup. So I'll just click on this one right here. And then up here, you'll see the little quick time button. This is the stop button. You're gonna, you'll click this to stop your recording. So we're recording, we're recording, it's recording my voice, and um, just recording here what's on the screen. I could record some of this Apple support. You know, let's say you wanted to record whatever it might be, um, you're looking for a new iPhone or whatever, and you wanted to you know, send this to somebody. I use this feature all the time I do screen records all the time, especially with tutorials and things like that. Um, but let's say you want to talk about the new phone or whatever it is, you know, uh, whatever you want to re record. And then what we, when you're done, we'll go up here to and stop it. And then it's going to bring up the file. And now we want to export it. So, or save it. So just go to file and export as, and we're gonna export this on whatever resolution that you want. I always do 1080p. And you can always scale it down later. It just depends on what you wanna use it for. And then you'll just put it wherever you want. I'll just save it to the desktop, test. And then it saved it, great. Now you can save this actual pr project if you want. I rarely do that. I'm just gonna X out of this and it's gonna ask me if I wanna save it. I'll just delete it. Once again, you can save the document if you want. And that's basically it. That's basically all you need to do. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And then I wanna find my file. And my file is on the other screen, I'll just drag it over. Here's the file. I'm gonna open this with our QuickTime player. You, you notice I have this the old QuickTime player 7 on there. I'm gonna open it up with my normal QuickTime player. And again, here is that file that we recorded. Well, there you go, super easy to do. And it's software that you most likely already have on your computer. If not, you can download it for free.
It's really helpful. I use it all the time. Well, there you have it. That is how you do a screen record on your Mac. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found some value out of it. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And we'll see you again soon in another tutorial. Take care.